Hello, this is a video covering the practice problem that was handed out in class uh, on chapter 5. This problem statement is um, a rigid beam between uh, A and D that is a pin connection at A, there's a cable 1 at B and a cable 2 at D with a point load at C acting at C of 55 kilonewtons. We're given some information about the steel or the, the, the cables at 1 and 2. Uh, cable 1 is a steel cable with a Young's modulus of 200 gigapascals with an area of 625 millimeters squared and a full length of 1 meter. Uh, the second cable is bronze. Young's modulus is 80 gigapascals, area is 350 millimeters squared, and a total length of 2 meters. So the problem statement asks to find the forces in cables 1 and 2 and then find the deflections at point A, B, C, and D. So since we're told that this is a rigid bar and it's a pin connection to A, the pin connection, we can assume that here at A, the deflection of A is going to equal zero. There's no deflection. So assuming that, we can draw um, a couple of relationships here. We'll draw a relation. If this is my beam from A to D, there's going to be a deflection at B, assuming the cable, cable B deflects, and a deflection at D, right? And since there's no deflection at A, well, so there will be a deflection here, so delta sub B, I'm writing that as a, that's going to signify my deflections at B, and this is my deflection at D. We know the distance between A and B is one meter, and we know the distance between A and D is the sum of all these values, which is four meters. So we can write a relationship that says delta sub B over one is then going to equal delta sub D over four. Solving this for delta sub D, we get four multiplied to delta sub B. So now we need to understand that there's going to be a formula that we can use given this information here, right? And this for our second cable. Our deflection is then going to equal force times the length over area modulus of elasticity. So we can then use this relationship and put it into this uh, this formula that we created. So we could say the force at D multiplied to the length of D divided by the area of D multiplied to the Young's modulus of D. And when I say D, I'm in using that interchangeably of the, the cable acting at point D, D which is uh, uh, the bronze, the uh, cable 2. And this is uh, going to be equal to 4 multiplied to the force at B, the length of B, divided by the area of B, Young's modulus of B. And again, I'm using B is in a relation to cable 1, okay, the deflection of cable 1. So now that we have this all written out, what we can do is just go ahead and we can solve again uh, for one of the variables, because ev pretty much everything in here is known except for the force D and force B, right? So we can just go ahead and solve for, uh, solve for force B. I'm gonna let you plug in the values yourself and do the algebra yourself, but you should end up, if you do it correctly, you should end up with a force of B equaling 2.23 multiplied to the force of D. We can we have a relationship between the forces, which the problem statement asks, what's the force in each cable? Well, this is the force acting at B, so the force of cable 1, and this right here is the force of cable 2, which is acting at point D. So now, if we go back up to the drawing, we can go ahead and sum the forces at point A and solve for our forces in, in uh, acting at uh, cable 1 and cable 2. So if we sum the moments at A, which equals 0, then we get the force of B 
acting one meter away minus the point load, 55 kilonewtons, acting 2.5 millimeters away, or meters away, sorry, meters, and then plus the force at D acting four meters away. So now, between these two equations, right, we have two equations and two unknowns. And using your algebra skills, again, which I won't do here, you should be able to solve those fairly easily and get a force acting at D to equal 22 kilonewtons and the force acting at B to equal 49.1 kilonewtons. So this is part A to the problem. So now the second part of the problem asked what were the deflections at point A, B, C, and D? Well, we already determined the deflection at point A, going back to this original diagram. Because of this triangle that I drew up here, we made the assumption that the deflection at A is going to equal zero. So delta sub A equals zero. So that one, that one we already solved for. But looking at the given information here that we have, say for the steel, steel cable and the bronze cable, if we look at that information, we should be able to easily throw in the values that we are given with now the forces that we just solved for to be able to solve for the deflections at uh, B and D. So the deflection, right, and we'll say the deflection at D is going to equal the force of D, the length of D, multiplied to the area at D, Young's modulus at D, which this then equals force of D is 22 kilonewtons multiplied to 2 meters divided by 350 millimeters squared multiplied to 80 gigapascals. Solving this, you should get a deflection at D equaling uh, 0 0.00157 meters or um, one point five seven millimeters. So that's the deflection at D. Using the exact same method I just did up here for deflection at B, you should get an answer that's zero point three nine two eight millimeters. And then now that you if you know these two, you should be able to use just regular algebra and understand that if you know the slope of a line between two points and then find the value here, right? What's that value? And then you should get a slope at C to equal 0.5880. And that's it.